Instagram page. It's Joey again, and welcome back to my channel. Ever wonder how clay pots are made? Come along with me for an exciting adventure as I explore the pottery capital of Aklan. But before I proceed, to those who are new to my channel, please like the video, hit on the subscribe button, and click on the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa mga video uploads ko. Don't forget as well to share the video and feel free to leave your comments below. So, ready to hit the potter's wheel? Tara! Let's rompe! Unknown to many of us, Aklan is home to other fascinating tourist spots ranging from unspoiled ecological wonders to historical, cultural, and traditional attractions. And speaking of traditional attraction, I will be exploring the town of Lezo, the so-called pottery capital of Aklan where pottery had been a traditional livelihood of some locals. Lezo is a fifth-class municipality in the province of Aklan. It is the province's smallest municipality, both by population and by land area, and even revenue. Located 11 kilometers away from the province capital of Calibo, it has a population of 15,639 as per the 2020 census. Though Lezo is a small town, there are still more than a couple of things to see. First, pay the Lezo Plaza a visit. It is home to most events of the municipality. Its town hall is a new building and you can go in and up the stairs to the balcony to have a view of the whole plaza and other municipal buildings. The Treaty of Peacemaker is a historical marker that was built on September 26, 1900 in remembrance to the Treaty of Peace between the American military forces headed by Captain Morton and the Filipinos Revolutionary Unit in Aklan, headed by General Ananias Jokno. This historical site is a living remembrance that Lezenos are peace-loving people, ready to fight and uphold their hard-won freedom at all times. One of the prominent landmarks in this town is the 150 kilograms bronze statue of Dr. Jose Rizal. The Lezenio's love and dedication for freedom and democracy is mirrored in the relentless efforts to put up this monument in honor of our national hero. Lezo has an attractive and colorful park to visit. It has become a tourist attraction, especially for children, for their Hello Kitty-themed park. Located just in front of the Municipal Hall, children and adults alike enjoy the colorful playground and most of the park visitors are local tourists. Just down the road from the plaza is the Church of the Town, a beautiful old building. The town's parish church is not only a symbol of their faith, but also a testimony of their untiring spirit. Built in 1900s, the two-meter-thick walls were made of bricks made from clay baked in the local kiln. This century-old church has a colorful tale that tells of the Lezenio's creativity, ingenuity, industry, and deep faith in God Almighty. The sleepy atmosphere had something bustling in one little corner. 
One short street just beside the church that starts with a welcome arc is Bayangan Village. Bayangan is a local dialect meaning potter's wheel. It is used to mold clay into various pottery products which is the pride of the town of Lezo. But for Lezenos, it does not only mean molding of the famous industrial craft but it also symbolizes the molder of true Lezenio values, traditions, and cultural heritage. The scene is awash with reds of clay pots of all shapes, sizes, and purposes. Potter sheds are lined up alongside, and these serve both as workshops and showrooms. Pottery is perhaps one of the oldest arts for it involves creating implements for cooking aside from the ornamental objects. Pottery is a highly versatile activity, allowing potters to learn myriad techniques, including hand-sculpted pots, slab pots, and pots made by pinching or coiling clay. At the pottery, you can ask if you can try your luck making something. The messiness of working with wet or damp clay and the need to follow a process to achieve result requires to set aside time to follow a procedure and predetermined technique which in turn makes for a slow, soothing experience. The prices of the products varies depending on their sizes and design, and if you buy directly from the village, you can get a much cheaper price from those sold in the market. As a pottery capital of Aklan, Lezo celebrates the Bayangan Festival. The Bayangan Festival is a tribute not only to the pottery industry where Lezo is well known for, but also to the colorful culture and traditions of the people through street dancing and dance presentation. It was conceptualized to preserve culture and traditions by instilling it to the younger generations through their active involvement in the activities. Bayangan Village is truly what its name suggests. The whole street is a community where locals make their livelihood through making clay pots. Bayangan Village showcases to the max its one town, one product contribution. It takes a village to make pots. It also takes perseverance to continue a tradition.